So this question is a translate word problem question, right? It's pretty obvious that it's a word problem. And really this strategy of translate word problem just says, hey, let's not read the entire thing all in one go. Let's instead read a sentence at a time and make sure to write down any quantitative information and really to make sure we understand what we're reading before we get all the way through and then realize we didn't understand anything and have to reread it. So the question says, for a survey, students were assigned to either group R or group V. So I'm going to write down R and V, right, are two groups. Combined, the students in both groups answered a total of 17 questions. So I'm going to just say down here somewhere, R plus V equaled 17 questions. Of these, a total of nine questions were answered by the students in group V. So I'm going to put a nine under my V there which means, of course, that group R had to have answered eight questions because eight plus nine is 17. Uh, so of these, a total of nine questions were answered by the students in group V. The question, the, or sorry, the equation for R plus nine equals 17 describes this situation. Interesting, okay? Where R represents the number of questions answered by each student in group R. Okay. So that's the difference, right? So if I have this 4R plus 9 equals 17, then I know that I can subtract 9 from both sides, right? So I'm just simplifying, right? So it's another strategy I'm using here because I really haven't even got to the, the answers yet. I'm simplifying what I see in the question. So 4R plus 9 equals 17. Subtract 9 from both sides. I have 4R equals 8. And therefore, I divide both sides by 4, and I get R equals 2. And that tells me again, right, because R represents the number of questions answered by each student in group R. So each student answered two questions, which tells us that there are four students in group R. All right, so R equals four students. Okay. Which of the following is the best interpretation of 4R in this context? Well, we knew that 4R equals 8, right? And we already knew that here as well. We know that the, the 4R equals 8 questions. So let's see what the answer choices are to see what makes the most sense. Choice A, the number of students in group R. Well, that's not true because the number of students in group R is 4 students. Choice B, the number of students in group V. Definitely not. 4R has nothing to do with group V. Choice C, the total number of questions answered by students in group R. That's it, right? There were eight total questions answered by all of the students in group R. So choice C must be the correct answer.